Thank you for viewing the DocMe4 Getting Started video. In this video, we will discuss how to get started with DocMe from the download procedure through the user interface of the software. Let's get started. Downloading DocMe To download DocMe 4.0, please visit our website at www.docme.net. Here you can download a free 30-day trial of DocMe Home, Professional, Enterprise, or Read-Only Edition. There are two ways to download DocMe. Simply select the free trial button on the home page or go to downloads in the top navigation bar. Upon clicking the download button you will be prompted to enter your contact information. Once the information has been entered you will be able to download the trial software. Click save file, select your download location and then you're ready to go. Once the download is complete open to run the installer. Upgrading DocMe. If you are upgrading your version of DocMe 4.0 from one version to another, for example, from home to professional or read-only to enterprise, you only need to enter in the new license key. To get to this section within DocMe, select Help, Registration in the toolbar. This will prompt a window where you can enter your license key. Microsoft SQL Server some things to note before you begin the install shield if you are installing a professional or enterprise version of DocMe 4.0. If you have SQL installed locally on your system, DocMe will auto-detect this. You may select the local database or select a network database that has been set up. If no local SQL database is detected, you will be asked if you would like to install or connect to another database on the network. If you are installing the home version of DocMe, SQL will automatically be installed for you locally if a database is not currently set up. There is no cost associated with the install of SQL. Install Shield Wizard Once DocMe has completed download, select Run to begin installation. Choose your language from the drop-down menu. After the language prompt, the Install Shield Wizard will appear to guide you through your installation. Next, you would be prompted to install Microsoft SQL Server and Crystal Reports. If you have any of the two programs already installed on your system, you may select No on the prompt screen. SQL does not have to be local, unless they are on Home Edition. Professional and Enterprise Edition can use a network server or the current local SQL server if it's available. If you would like to install these programs, please continue by clicking Yes and the install will begin. Once SQL has been installed, you will then be prompted to install Crystal Reports. Once the installation of Crystal Reports is complete, you will be able to continue to install DocMe 4.0 onto your system. Select Next and you will be taken to the License Agreement page. Read the License Agreement, accept the terms, and select Next. DocMe automatically installs into your Program Files folder. You may select Next to continue or select Change to choose an alternative location. The Install Shield will now begin the installation process. During the process, the virtual printer will install. Once the installation is complete, select Finish and DocMe will launch automatically. First Run Wizard Welcome to the DocMe First Run Wizard. Here you will be able to go through the initial setup of DocMe and configure your system. Select Next to continue setup. Version Selection. You may select whether you wish to install the Home, Professional, Enterprise, or Read-Only edition of DocMe. Next you get to your back-end database setup. Here you will be able to verify your connection settings. Once these settings have been established, you may choose your repository location. This may be your local computer or the area network. Choose your location and click Next. Once those settings have been established, you may begin creating your new user account. Select a user ID, password, and email address. Select Next to continue running the wizard. Once your administrator account has been successfully created, you may select Next to begin the file cabinet setup. Here you will be able to establish your index field values by selecting a field name and data type. You may continue this process as needed by selecting Add Another Index Field. When adding new index fields, type in a field name. Select the field and data type and click Apply Change and Back to Index Field Setup. Repeat this process until you have all index fields necessary. Please note, you can always add more index fields later by selecting File Cabinet Administration from the Control Panel inside of DocMe. Once you are complete with the index field setup, click Next. The DocMe First Run Wizard is now complete. The DocMe 4 home screen will launch and you may now log in. Exploring the DocMe interface. 
When you first open DocMe, it's a good idea to take a good review of the interface of the program. The top navigation bar provides your basic drop-down menu actions, such as File, File Cabinet, Edit, Actions, Tools, Workflow, View, and Help. Take a moment to go through each area and familiarize yourself with the tools. Below the navigation is the main toolbar. Here you are able to quickly select an action that is found within the drop-down of the navigation bar. Refresh, New Folder, Print, Email, Cut, Copy, Paste, Delete, Save, Find and Replace, Scan, Import, Export, Merge, Launch, OCR, Bates Label, Workflow, Schedule Jobs, Control Panel, Audit Log, Quick Search, and Advanced Search. If you take a moment to hover over each icon, it will provide a tooltip with the description. To the left of the DocMe interface is the Tree View. The Tree View shows all file cabinets, folders, and files in the Recycle Bin. If you click on a file cabinet or folder, the contents will be displayed in the main window of DocMe, known as the File Explorer. If you click on an actual file within the Tree View, that file will open in a new window within the File Viewer. You will notice a new set of tools that populate in the bottom area of the viewer. From here, you are able to view your images as well as index your document for easy search capabilities. This concludes our DocMe Getting Started video. For more in-depth videos of the features available within DocMe 4.0 or to contact us with questions, please visit our website at www.docme.net. The videos can be found under the support section of our website. Thank you and enjoy your version of DocMe 4.0.